Welcome to room nine, the region's largest classroom. I am Mrs. Wright and I teach at Monroe Elementary in St. Charles. Today, I will be teaching a reading lesson meant for second graders. But as always, everyone is welcome to join us. So today, we are going to be meeting these goals up here. So I can identify adjectives. I can identify a complete sentence. And that's what we're gonna work on. And I kind of got tripped up because as you can imagine, if you know me, Molly is walking in the room, in the classroom, about to knock over the table. So let's see if she'll come and say hi. Molly, can you say hi? Come here, please. Come here. Come here. Oh, she's like, so she, I need a swivel camera so you guys can see. She's trying to play. Come here. Come say hi. Come here. <laughs> she really wants to play. You want to play Chase? But I have to teach the kids. Come say hi. Okay, you just come whenever you're ready. Oh, she just ran away with her ball. I'm sure you could hear her. I bet you'd love to see it. Anyways, I hope you're doing really well. I know that um, things are a little weird right now, right? So maybe you are going to school in person and you have to wear a mask and kind of keep your distance from other people. Um, maybe you are doing school online and it's a little bit more challenging than in the spring because you have to be on like live Zoom meetings for a lot of the day. Um, so let's kind of think about how we feel for a second, right? Because learning is important, but what's also important is taking care of our brain and our body, right? So let's do a little check-in. Okay, think how you're feeling today. How do you feel? Are you fine? Like, okay. Molly, we're trying to do a check-in and you're making a lot of noise. Can you at least say hi? Come here, come here, come here. I don't think she's gonna come. Come here, come say hi. Oh, yeah, come here. Oh, good girl. She jumped right up, say hi, say hi. Well, okay, let's do a little check-in. Are you feeling worried? Are you... Are you feeling happy or excited like Molly's feeling right now? She wants to get down and go play. Okay. Are you maybe feeling just overwhelmed? Like there's a lot going on and it's different maybe? That's hard. Yeah, okay. So I just want you to think about how you're feeling and know that however you feel right now, whether you're worried, uh, maybe you're a little frustrated, Maybe you're a little sad. Maybe you miss like when things were normal at school, right? However you're feeling is totally fine. And guess what? Other people probably feel the same way as you. I'm feeling all of those things, okay? So it's okay to feel how you feel. And the best way when you're feeling a lot of feelings and trying to learn is to do that. Figure out how you're feeling Say, it's okay, it's okay to feel that way, and then move on with it, right? So we're gonna do a little deep breathing before we go ahead and move on. So we know our feeling, it's okay, and let's do some deep breathing. Ready, in through your nose. Push it all the way down to your belly, out through your mouth. When you breathe in, you should push it all the way down to your belly. Here we go. Good, do it again. Good, right? Your brain is probably a little more focused now and maybe your body is feeling a little more calm too. So we're in a spot that's good for our brain and our body right now and we are going to get started on our goals for today. Adjectives and complete sentences. So here we go. An adjective, hmm, say that, adjective. Adjective, good. Adjective is a word that describes a noun. Oh, we learned about nouns. 
Nouns, remember, are a person, place, or thing. What's a noun? That's right, I'm a noun, teacher. That's a person. Molly, crazy, she's a thing. Water bottle is a thing. Scissors is a thing. I'm in my fake classroom, and that's a place. So a noun is a person, place, or thing. And adjectives are really important because adjectives describe nouns. Hmm. And they describe them by thinking about size, like, well, what size is this water bottle? Big. Think about color. Pink, it's a pink water bottle. How many? One water bottle. Shape, round water bottle. Taste, I'm not gonna taste this. Should I? I can't do it. Smell, doesn't really smell. So not everything works. Sound, oh, it kind of sounds like a gong. Listen, wanna hear it? Can you hear that? I'm gonna do it again. If I do it on this table, it'll move the whole thing. Here we go. Gong water bottle. Feel, ooh, it does feel smooth, right? So, an adjective is a word that describes a noun by size, color, the amount, the shape, the taste, the look, the smell, the sound, and the feel, okay? So, let's, Think of some adjectives. I'm gonna hang this up here. And adjectives. So, adjectives that describe size. What are some words that might describe the size of something? We're gonna make a little word bank. How do you feel about that? Okay, the size of something. You just tell me. Oh, size, okay, good. I heard someone say huge, small, and tall, okay? Let's go on to color. Ooh, what are your favorite colors? Orange. Ooh, magenta, wow. And blue, good. There's so many more. We don't have to do just these. Amount, how many? So you, yeah, you're right few. You might have 10. Oh yeah. Or like a bunch. Good. Okay. Did you see that? Okay. So these, what we're doing is we're just thinking of additives. We're just writing down some adjectives. This is good to just get our brains used to, well, what kind of words are adjectives? So we've done color, size, and amount. Let's try shape. What are some words that describe shape? Yeah, round, flat, nice. What about taste? What are some words that describe taste? Hmm, taste. Yeah, like Sour Patch Kids, sour and then they're sweet, right? Sour and then they're sweet, good. Delicious is an adjective. Mm, bitter, like, oh, right? That could be a sour face too. Bitter doesn't taste good. Juicy, yeah, juicy like peaches or apples can be juicy when you bite into them. Nice, okay, then, Okay, I'm really proud of myself because a giant ant just crawled across this thing here and I didn't scream. It's gone. <sighs> giant ant. Oh, I used an adjective. Let's look at it. Giant ant. Yeah, so ant is the noun. It's an animal, it's a bug, and I described it 
by saying the size. I wish I, now I wish I would have kept the ant. I think they're, hopefully they're not the kind of ants that like bite or anything, right? Okay, so giant ant, so that was size. Now I'm gonna add color. What color do you think the ant was? Yep, the giant black ant, good. The giant black ant. Why, while we're at it, let's just make it into a sentence. The giant black ant, hmm, what did it do? Crawled across the, my table right here. Look at your table near you. How would you describe that table? Flat, brown, good. Guys, look at the sentence we just wrote. The giant black ant crawled across the flat brown table. Good, so the, these words giant and black are describing the noun ant. Now these words, flat and brown, are describing the noun table. So adjectives are really important because they help you to better understand and to better picture what's happening in your mind. I could have just said giant ant, right? Well now you know it's a giant black ant that was traveling across my table that is round, or not round, flat and brown. Cool, right? Adjectives help people to see what you're talking about. Okay, so let's brainstorm a little more. My lesson kind of got a little slight sidetracked there, but that's okay. So we did, um, oh, we were working on taste when I got scared. Taste, sour, sweet, right? Smell. Oh, shoo wee, Molly, you sure need a bath. Woo! Mel Molly is smelly. Whew. I, on the other hand, I smell like flowers. Fresh. I smell fresh. Ooh, I smell, oh, what do I smell? Burnt. Like there's a fire outside, not like a, like in a fire pit, you know, it's okay. A fire pit. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, what is that smell? Hmm. How do I describe that? Yeah, disgusting, right? A disgusting smell, disgusting is a word that you could say is an adjective sometimes. Oh, okay, now guess the adjectives I'm being right now. Hi, how are you? I'm quiet, right? Now I'm teaching in a quiet voice. This is a quiet voice. This is a loud voice, loud, right? So quiet and loud are ways to describe the sound. And feel, feel, hmm. Ooh, look at this. This is a piece of tape, can you see that? And it feels sticky. So sticky tape, sticky tape. Hmm, what else feels, oh. Smooth, right? These are smooth. This right here is kind of bumpy. The words are kind of bumpy on there, right? So adjectives describe things. What do adjectives do? They describe. Now, let's move on to identifying a complete sentence. So a complete sentence, well, you're right. We need a little break, okay. Here we go. Let's stretch. Oh, stretch, stretch, stretch high. Oh, stretch out wide. Oh. Mm. Yes. Whew. Okay, I think I'm ready now. Maybe I need a little water. Just got my brain and body ready again. Here we go. Complete sentence. 
a complete sentence has a subject and a predicate, okay? So there's an, oh, we'll get to that actually. If one part is missing, it's called, it's not a sentence, it's a fragment, okay? So the subject of your sentence is the who, the who part of your sentence. And the fragment, the fragment, the predicate, the predicate is the what part of your sentence. So the who and the what. So this sentence that we had from the other day where we decided what was nouns and what were verbs, this would be a complete sentence because watch, Molly chased the squirrels up the tree. Who? Molly. What? Chase. Subject, predicate, who, Molly, oops, and what did she do? She chased the squirrels up the tree. So subject, predicate, you need both. You need the who and the what in your sentence for it to be a complete sentence, okay? Let's put this up here in a spot where you can see it, hopefully. Oh, that's close, okay. All right, now I am going to give you some sentences and you're going to decide if they are, that's right, fragments or complete sentences. Are you ready? Okay, this one right here. Mrs. Wright loves to teach. Who? What? That's right. Who loves to teach? Mrs. Wright loves to teach. What? Mrs. Wright what? Loves to teach. So the subject is Mrs. Wright, and this is the predicate. So subject, answers the who, and this is the predicate. Who and the what? Good. Now, let's keep going, okay. Crawling near me. Crawling near me. Who? What? Crawling near me, what? The crawling near me. So is this a complete sentence or is this a fragment? You're right, this is a fragment. I only have the what in this sentence. I only have the predicate. Now, Use this sentence, I mean the predicate, and I want you to add a subject to the beginning. Can you do that? So I have the what, you add the who. You can just tell me. Yep, this isn't my best handwriting. Here we go, here's our sentence. The scary ant crawling near me. So I need to say is crawling near me. Okay, so who? The scary ant. What's the scary ant doing? Crawling near me. Let's read the whole sentence. The scary ant is crawling near me. Good, one more time, read it with fluency. The scary ant is crawling near me. Awesome job, friends. So, it's so important to remember to write and complete sentences. I want you to check these out. Going to Target. Who is going to Target? Oh no. 
What? Going to Target, we know that. Hmm. Complete sentence or a fragment? Let's look at this one. Second graders are the coolest kids ever. Hmm. Who? What? Which one of these do you think is a fragment? And which one do you think is a complete sentence? Hmm. So I'm betting this right here you think is a fragment because it only answered the what. Who? We don't know. What are they doing? Going to Target. You could easily say, Mrs. Wright is going to Target. That would be a complete sentence. But this is not a complete sentence because it's missing the what. Second graders are the coolest kids ever. Who? That's right, second graders. What about second graders? That's right, are the coolest kids ever. Look at that, subject and a predicate. So you're right, it is a complete sentence. Awesome job. I am going to give you a moment right now and I want you to use what we've learned today, adjectives and complete sentences. I want you to write two complete sentences. Can you do that? Okay, go ahead and get started. I'll be right here if you need me and I'm gonna pop up some ideas if you start to get a little stuck, okay? I'm gonna write some too. Okay, can't write about Molly again. Mm, I'll write about Billy. Billy, that's the who. Hmm. Billy. Hmm. Oh, Billy plays. Well, that's actually a sentence. Who? What? Billy plays. Hey, guys, look. Look how short this sentence is, but it's still a sentence. Billy plays. I mean, you might want to know more. I do. But guess what? This is a complete sentence. Billy is the who, the subject, what? He plays. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Sorry. Remember, at least two sentences. Billy plays. Okay. Got to leave them alone. Okay, so Billy is the who. I want to know what he plays. I can make it up. Oh, Billy plays softball every single Friday. A little more detail. Yeah, Billy plays softball every single Friday. I bet you'll like that. Okay, now, hmm, who could I write about? I'm gonna write about <sighs> me. Mrs. Wright. That's the who. The who. Mrs. Wright. Hmm. Walks. What does she do? Wait, I don't need that. Walks. Walks at 5 a.m. in the morning. That's a sentence, right? Walks at 5 a.m. in the morning. What? Who? I do need that. The who is Mrs. Wright. Okay, guys. I hope you're working hard on your sentences. I had to really think about mine and make sure that I had a who and a what in all of my sentences. And... I did some adjectives, but maybe I could do a little bit better. Hmm. 
I, I, I'm gonna show you these sentences and then we can pick one to do a little bit better, okay? So, Billy plays softball every single Friday. Who? Billy. What? Plays softball every single Friday. Good. I forgot the S. That was my first sentence. Here's my next one. Mrs. Wright walks at 5 a.m. in the morning. Who? Mrs. Wright. What does Mrs. Wright do? Walks at 5 a.m. in the morning. Good. Okay. Now, I'm going to take one of these sentence, uh, sentences and I'm going to work on the adjectives. So, I'm going to use the sentence, Billy... plays. Okay. Now, I want you to pick one of your sentences and make it better, okay? Okay. So, Billy hmm, plays. Hmm, how could I describe? Hmm, Billy plays. my softball each Friday yeah, each Friday night okay she said she wanted me to heavy wooden bat yeah there's my adjectives I'm describing that okay all right guys look up here Billy plays with a heavy wooden bat at softball each Friday night yeah, so my who is Billy, does what? Plays with a heavy wooden bat at softball every Friday night. Well, my adjectives for bat are heavy and wooden. That gives you a better description of the bat. All right, guys, I hope you had so much fun learning about adjectives and complete sentences today. I will see you tomorrow with some even more good work. Teaching in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.